Yeah, well, you're gonna take it. Yeah, you're gonna like wear it. it, and you're gonna like it. Please don't wreck my car while I'm gone. What did I say? There's nothing here. <laughs> Not the most glamorous place to be sleeping tonight. As you guys can see, I have too many shirts. Almost every single cupboard is getting full. By the way, the reason that I've been hanging these shirts in front of it is because behind the camera right now, I have a huge window. And if you look at this little line, that is from my shirts being folded facing the window. I'm just going to hang them in front of the window to give them a nice even sun fade. Now I've been sourcing stuff like crazy for this live that I have coming up on February 9th. I believe it's at 7 p.m. Is it Pacific Standard Time? Maybe it's 6 p.m. I don't know, I know it's February 9th, but the day in time will be on my whatnot of course make sure you bookmark that if you click that little yellow icon at the top right of the scheduled show it will remind you when I go live if you do not have a whatnot click the top link in the description make sure you sign up for whatnot if you use that link you will get $15 off your first purchase make sure you tune into the band tea live I got a bunch of stuff I've been sourcing this oasis which I've already had people ask me multiple times to sell might get sold a couple other ones that I want to keep but I will probably end up selling Pearl Jam come on you already know especially being from the Pacific North Northwest. The single stitch tool with the back hits. Meatloaf. I got a bunch of Grateful Dead. A lot of these will be getting sold. This one right here though. This is called death. Yo, this one is crazy. Especially with the little CCM GDM flip right here at the bottom. The Volkswagen bus crying on the Volkswagen tag. And so much more. Megadeth. Limp Biscuit, Corn, Like so many banties will be ran on that Whatnot Live. So make sure you bookmark it. Make sure you check it out. And I'll be running that show in Atlanta. Probably in in Harrison Neville's warehouse. For those of you guys that have been following the series, I'm flying back to Atlanta to grab my Forerunner and travel around the Eastern United States, just thrifting, exploring, and uh, hopefully finding some cool vintage goods. We got a time travel to a couple days ago when I went to Portland to source some stuff at a flea market in a very peculiar location. You guys know I love going to Portland to source. It's almost as good as Kim's. All right, just got to Portland. There's a flea market actually in the mall, which is kind of weird because if you guys are familiar with a lot of malls, especially in bigger cities, they do not really allow people to sell used stuff like clothing or shoes. But uh, yeah, I guess we got a flea market in the mall. All right, first stop, got some stuff. Got this beautiful Carhartt right here. This might be a personal, even though it does fit me a little big. This is another one. I'm low-key just getting this to flex on the homie Amalar because he hit me up wanting an XL. This one is also my size, so we'll see. I can't keep more than one thing from this pile. But this I'll be selling on whatnot, little 3D emblem. Beautiful all over print. Look at these Jaguar straight cripping in the jungle. And then this absolutely delicious, scrumptious LL Bean that hopefully Yaz does not try to steal from me. But anyways, thank you, my guy. I appreciate you. Yo, Chance in Forever 21, this is crazy. I would have never expected to see the day. I got my H&M denim on. All right, just a little bundle. This right here might be a personal. I've actually been wanting one of these for a minute. And then these next files will be on whatnot. Appreciate you guys. I do 180. What's the price breakdown, if you don't want me asking? This one, bro. I got it off the bins four days ago, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. Damn, you was back into the bins. Yeah, We all go to Kent. Yeah, Kent, Kent, Kent. Address on the screen. Kent's the best Goodwill bins in the world. Kent's the best Goodwill, bro. Mark my words. You hardships there, no lie. Yeah, hardships. Shapes, man. That's where you found this Marilyn Manson sex is dead shirt. Even though sadly he was just telling me this one's dry rot. Look, yeah. guys, not to point the camera at his crotch, but hey, it's wearable. It's I'll wearable. Wear it all day, Got 160 for all these. I appreciate my guy. This uh, Elton John is gorgeous. It's kind of weird seeing like a flea market in the middle of the mall. This ain't no middle of the mile shit. Portland flea market and HM. I feel the absolute need to point this out anytime I leave Portland. Behind me is the Apple Store. This is what the Apple Store used to look like. It literally looks like a safe haven for the next zombie apocalypse. That is insane to me. The flea market was a success. Your boy got some good things. I don't have much longer to source before I fly back to Atlanta. I gotta catch my flight to Atlanta tomorrow, but before I leave, I gotta stop and see the homie RJ because uh, I got him a little gift. I got something you might wanna donate. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, well let me see. There's something you might want to <laughs> Look at the back too. I don't like it. Yeah, well you're gonna take it. Yeah, you're gonna like wear it. it and you're gonna like it. Don't talk to me with your hands. Yeah. No beef though. Currently driving to go pick up my mom on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I've been called the songbird of my generation. Please don't wreck my car while I'm gone. I will not wreck your car when you're gone. I'm gonna put a lot of miles on it, but I won't wreck it. <laughs> Alright, love you. Love you too. Have a safe flight. Tall enough to bring that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you uh, soon.
here in Atlanta, my boy Harrison. Oh. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Yo, I need the what up, YouTube? Uh, I don't got the energy for it. I got it today. I'm tired. I wanted to ask you before I start hitting some thrift stores in Atlanta, how is the thrifting here? Because you filmed a couple thrift store videos on your channel before. I don't know. I don't know where like the spots to go are, to be honest. Kind of like a Metallica tee that was like 20 years old once. Are there even bins here? I don't think there is. There's no bins here. Yeah, I would have hit those if they were here. Have you ever been to a Goodwill bins? Nope. Fun fact, they used to have a bins here. I guess it was in Augusta, but the closest bins is, I believe, Chattanooga. Where? Yeah, <laughs> we're hitting racks while we're here in Atlanta. This is actually my third day in Atlanta, but I didn't have a chance to go thrifting because I was working on the video that I uploaded yesterday. Speaking of that video, holy hell, it is doing well, and I appreciate you guys for supporting all of the content. Please take a second, smash the like button, show some love in the comments, and of course, if you at all find yourself enjoying this little video, if it at any point arouses you, subscribe, turn on post notifications. But anyways, one thing that I have to do while I am here is pick up some goods that I bought from an individual who works at Full Circle, which is a local like sneaker slash vintage store here in Atlanta. I've never been there, but I've heard good things. I also saw a video that Harrison shot there with Whistle and Diesel, one of my favorite YouTube content creators. So while I am driving to Full Circle, I'm gonna be hitting some of the Goodwills on the way because there are quite a few Goodwill racks locations. Wait, is this the, wow, this is kind of like a nice little entrance. Driving down this little driveway and you just see this beautiful modern looking Goodwill at the bottom of the hill. Goodwill number one. Ooh, we got a little Zion. The tag's kind of deceitful though because like it says 100% con, USA components, USA craftsmanship, but it does not say that it was made in the USA. Woven tag, probably like early 2000s. Low key kind of vibing with this. It's kind of like the perfect button up to do coke off of shippers titties in some tropical environment. Does anyone ever buy candy from Goodwill. Nope. Alright, so I got one thing from Goodwill number one. Hopefully we can find a little bit more at Goodwill number two. I have high hopes because number two is also next to an REI, which I also need to go to to get some socks. I love REI. Damn, I don't see nothing. No tees. I don't see no jackets. Oh yeah, this is not the one. Yeah, none of the stuff that I'm regularly looking for here at this Goodwill, so... On to location number three. Oh, and yes, I did stop by REI, got my new socks, my feet are nice and warm. And the guy there said that actually the Goodwill on Roswell Road, which there's this one and one other one, are pretty good, so let's see. Dang, the Clean Essential Diamond Supply Co. Diamonds are forever. By the way, I'm really glad that I have the OG Tiffany Diamond SB Dunks, especially now that they're dropping the Tiffany Air Forces. I'm undecided whether I'm gonna cop the Air Forces, but I kind of feel like I need to. Nothing from this location. This Goodwill is looking a little different. Looks like it's missing the sign. You can see clothes inside. We'll just like Photoshop a sign up there. Hey, well at least I got one thing from this location. So, not too bad. On my way to full circle, I found location number five. Yet another Goodwill racks. The neutral gangbanging masterpiece. You can color this in and be a part of whichever gang you choose. All right, five Goodwills and two shirts. Man, thrifting in Atlanta is rough. All right, so I did pick up some tees from one of the homies at Full Circle Atlanta. This MC Light is crazy. This Iron Maiden is crazy. Most of these will actually be ran during the Band T Live. Once again on February 9th. Shout out my guy with the Louis V luggage. I appreciate you. This is the individual that I had to pick up the tees from. And now we are over, what's this neighborhood called? Uh, it's Little Five Points in Atlanta, Georgia. Little Five Points in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh! I have so many thrift stores to hit today. I'm wearing one of the shirts that I got yesterday and he's smoking and half of his face is a skull and it says I would die for a smoke. It's great because I don't even smoke. So, okay, this is a little bit better because I definitely drive and cry. <laughs> no, I might actually keep that I'd die for a smoke tea. Also, this is a pretty cool band. I'm trying to hit the rest of the Goodwill stores here in Atlanta today, and there are still quite a few. Please take a second to caress that little thumbs up button, because this is gonna take quite a long time to film. Ooh, nice, the first Goodwill made out of brick to protect it from the big bad wolf. You will definitely not be huffing and puffing and blowing this bitch. Little donation from some uh, Vietnam vet, uh, but yeah, there's really, no two, actually, this is kind of a nice hoodie. Oh, it's a small reverse weave, newer, but still pretty nice. Honestly, not bad if I was gonna keep it. Anyways, uh, I actually do think we should probably hire the big bad wolf to uh, get some demolition done on this location. And the next Goodwill looks like it's straight out of Stranger Things. This looks like it's next to the Gwinnett Place Mall or whatever. Doesn't Stranger Things take place here in Georgia? Well, hopefully I can find some strange things because, man, this is like the seventh or eighth location, and for you guys, it may feel quick, but for me, it feels like I've been doing this all day. Yeah, this looks like it's in good condition. A little distressing across the 
the uh, chesticles. Looks like someone just got shanked. A little early 2000s or late 90s. Ooh, and speaking of stranger things, we got the merch. Man, I kind of wish this was just a t-shirt. It's made of this like linen material. It feels like a tropical potato sack. Man, thrifting in Atlanta is rough. Ooh, I see a little Hanes beefy tag poking out. What is this? 2001 Shiloh Relays. What the fuck is that? Some early 2000s joints. You know it's bad when I'm getting excited, getting edged by early 2000s pieces. And what's crazy is, oh, oh. Okay. Well, what's crazy is, obviously I like thrifting back home and we have the Kent Goodwill bins address on the screen as always, but a lot of the other locations that I've been to throughout the states are pretty comparable. However, Atlanta is by far, so far, the worst. All right, well, I found a single stitch tee. It's a uh, Utsiwaz Junior Miss. This sounds like some sort of child pageant where little kids are abused. Also, this like spider jacket, the Spider-Man Essential is super nice quality, but not something that I normally sell. And of course, there's like nothing else. Oh! After a 30 minute drive, I'm finally at another Goodwill location. Ooh, we got some E-Nice. You're a D-Nice? Okay, this right here is quality. 100% Irish linen. What is the difference between Irish linen and like Italian linen? Do linens have like ethnicities? Anyways, this potato sack button up is actually really good quality. Look at this aquatic masterpiece. You got Nemo right there with that beautiful sunset on the back. As my brother Paul Cantu would say, fishes get you. I got one thing. Racks on racks. Actually, wait. That is a donation center attached to a gas station. Anyways, I believe that is every Goodwill within the Atlanta city limits. Obviously, there are like neighboring cities. If you're a thrifter out here and you have any uh, recommendations, let me know. Hit me up on Thriftro. T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. And if you're not from Atlanta and you just want to buy, whether you want to support the whatnot, support the website drops that I will be doing once I get back home, you can follow me on my thrift page as well, thrift row on both Instagram and whatnot. I wish I could just be like most YouTubers and then say that I'm going to every Goodwill in Atlanta and then like only go to three or four. Goodwill is giving me bad will energy right now. I happen to be in Duluth, not technically in Atlanta, but it's like on the outskirts. Therefore, your boy's going to, I believe it's called Park Ave Thrift. It's a thrift that was recommended. There is a Goodwill nearby, but I am so tired of seeing that godforsaken Goodwill sign. If I see that blue eight letter word even one more time, I might lose control and drive this car off a freaking cliff. Do they have cliffs in Georgia? I came looking for Park Avenue Thrift. I think it's closed, but. But hey, right across the street, there's another Goodwill. Sadly, I could not find anything at that Goodwill or a neighboring cliff that I could drive off of. So I have not driven off a cliff yet, but stay tuned. We might be very soon. But of course, before we do that, we're gonna have to run the band T live. February 9th, like I said, I'm gonna be running all these. I have to measure all of these pieces and the best place to get work done is in Harrison's warehouse. Did I not tell you at the beginning of this video, what did I say? There's nothing here, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. nothing here. It's literally so bad. I hit all the same Goodwills. I am probably not gonna be thrifting in Atlanta very long. So uh, in the next video, hopefully, I will be in a different location. That being said, I did get some things and I got one cool tee and I'm really excited about this because I bought this tee. I was gonna end up reselling it because I know I won't get much wear out of it, but it's one of those pieces that I really like and I want it to go to a good home. And I showed it to Harrison's lovely lady, Sophie. So uh, yeah, she said she wanted it, she likes it. So it's gonna go to a home that will appreciate it. I feel like it's perfect for her vibe and her style and just everything. I'm just glad that, you know, it's being adopted by someone who will appreciate it. An art major. Perfect. Perfect. I've kind of uh, turned Harrison Neville's little warehouse into my domicile. I have commandeered this warehouse and it is now the Jacob Star Warehouse. Anyways, that being said, I did get a couple things from the Goodwill, so I will Review. The first thing that I ended up getting was, of course, this little Zion tee. I also grabbed this Harley Davidson, which I don't think I showed off. It's a newer Harley Davidson, but it is still a Harley tee for three bucks. And then, of course, the Irish linen luxury potato sack, but it is a Banana Republic. It's just a nice quality button up. I got this really just because it's something that I would like. I'll probably end up still auctioning it, but super sick. Things like this, it's like if you are thrifting for your own personal style, you can find stuff like this. It's six dollars. If this literally just said Stussy right here, people would be going crazy for it. Now, although the thrifting in Atlanta was an absolute catastrophe, a failure of sorts, yeah boy does have quite a few pieces still because I 
I left some pieces here from when I traversed Washington all the way down the west coast and then southern border. So I had some pieces like this that I got in Houston, this limb biscuit that I think I also got in Houston or somewhere along the journey. I will go over a couple of my personal favorite pieces that we ran on the Bansy Live on February 9th. But before I do that, I would like to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up in this video that you guys saw me grab from the homie Nick. First piece you guys saw, this will probably stay in the personal for a little bit. Eventually it may get sold, but these are the types of teas that I've really been vibing with lately. I also got this driving and crying tea, which is just like a single stitch band tea. I also got this driving and crying tea as well, which is a little 1991, 1992 tour tea. This is an insane one. The MC Light Roughneck, this uh, Marilyn Monroe, and this Iron Maiden Virtual Tea. Look at this one, man. You got homie right here playing on the Oculus. Was Iron Maiden telling the future with this virtual reality? Homie's got his Oculus hooked up to a PlayStation 1 console on the Toltex tag. Some of these I actually bought with the intention to run during the Banty Live, so those and a lot of others will be starting off at $1. When I say a lot of others, I mean all of these. This Iron Maiden, ho oh, ho, the Robert Johnson. I'll tell the more in-depth story about Robert Johnson when I run this piece on whatnot, but if you guys wanna look it up yourself, there's a Netflix documentary on it. I got two Megadeths. I got this 1995 Megadeth tee, and then I have this absolutely beautifully faded Megadeth Euthanasia I got this meatloaf, then you have this little VH1 back hit, and this Samuel, Sam Samuel, I don't know, it's a metal band that I do not listen to, but man, the graphic, sick. Then two pieces that I picked up from the Portland Vintage Flea Market in this video, Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and this Tool Tee with that back hit, of course. I actually originally bought this for myself, but recently I kind of decided I'm either gonna get rid of this or the Oasis that I wore in a recent video. Of course, being from Washington State, the 1993 Pearl Jam, this is beautiful, but I do have have a couple pearl jams in the collection already. This tea I bought for myself as well. Beautiful fade. Look at the little cow smoking a cigarette. This Metallica tea right here has a beautiful fade like on the shoulder with the puss head graphics, of course. And then this one. Oh my goodness. The colors on this, of course, are absolutely scrumptious. Single stitch on the Brockham fits me absolutely perfectly, and I will be bidding farewell. These are three Grateful Deads, all different sizes. The first one is a little too big. I always say I can wear a size small through double XL. And as you guys have witnessed on the journey. This is a piece that I have worn and taken with me. This is a play on Eddie Bauer. It's the Deddy Bear. There's been a couple Grateful Dead tees that have released that are kind of like logo flips on popular outerwear brands. So you have this. Uh, you also have the LL Rain. I also had that in the collection as well, although I did a trade for that. Now I'm going to say goodbye to this, even though I love the graphic on that. Now we have another problem with this tee. It's a little bit too small. Although small through double XL are possible, small and double XL are not ideal. But oh man, this one is so sick with the clown on the front, Grateful Dead, and you got these shrooms on the back as well. It's an 80s Fruit of the Loom tag. And then we got a recent addition to the collection, and this one fits just right. I showed you guys this in a recent video, but man, this is beautiful. You have this Grateful Dead face off, they're playing hockey, you have all these little details on the tee, which I will, of course, show you guys throughout the live. My favorite that I will touch on briefly is the little GDM CCM flip. Now, this does not include the other like 60 band tees that your boy has set aside. So like I said, make sure you check me out on Whatnot. My Whatnot will be on the screen. You guys can go bookmark the live. If you guys do not know how to type in Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W into the Whatnot application, all you guys have to do is click that top link in the description. Every single piece on February 9th will be ran starting at $1. There are quite a few pieces that I am nervous about, some that I did not even show you, like this Green Day on the beautiful woven gildan and quite a few others. They just need some minor repairs. Oh, look at this one. Probably my favorite that I need to repair that I may or may not is uh, this Doors T. Look at that. Jim Morrison. Artist, philosopher, king of orgasmic rock. Yeah, there's just so many that if I was to show you every single piece, we would be here for quite a while. Just make sure you click that top link in the description. Make sure you follow me on whatnot. Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Bookmark the live and tune in on February 9th. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like button now. We are not done yet. I now need to find a place to sleep. I could probably sleep in this warehouse. However, uh, kind of want to go somewhere. It's like two hours away, but then I have to sleep outside. I have quite a few friends out here that I can stay with. And the last couple days I've been sleeping with my friends, Josh and Gal. That being said, tonight I will be sleeping in my truck. Not the most glamorous place to be sleeping tonight because I'm in a Shell parking lot. Well, it's actually a Shell, like, Circle K collaboration they got going on right now. That being said, I am so tired, and I do not feel like looking for a spot. I'm gonna put up my little, uh, 
wind blockers. Sorry, they don't block wind. Window <laughs> blockers. I'm gonna put that stuff up so that way I don't get so much light in here and uh, go to sleep. Now, even though I've been in Atlanta for a couple days, uh, this is officially my first night back to sleeping in the Forerunner. And I'm down here because I believe there's a Goodwill Benz down here. If you guys have watched this video all the way here, oh, I love you. And of course, comment AT Aliens, just like it says on the screen. Shout out Outcast one time. Oh, I am exhausted. I feel this weird confliction. This is gonna sound really weird, but when I'm staying with Josh and Gal, their couch is so freaking cozy. I don't wanna leave, but then it like messes up my workflow because it's so comfortable. Not to mention, I feel like I don't get to accomplish the exploration that I am trying to accomplish accomplish with this trip because I just end up either sleeping in, not getting up early enough, not getting enough work done. On the flip side of that, I'm also getting to spend more time with them and getting to spend some time with my friends. I don't know, man. Either way, I probably could have stayed up there. I just woke up like an hour or two earlier. That's, that's doable, but that's way less fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Back to the basics. I just realized I'm going to have to deal with people playing loud music when they come to get gas. Oh, anyways. Peace. Listen closely. Oh.